welcome to another interesting and fantastic class. Today's topic is, it's a leaf. Wow, what's this? Is this a fish, a monkey, a kangaroo, or a carrot? No, these are leaves. Can you see the leaves have different colors? They have red, yellow, green, orange, and so on. But what's a leaf? A leaf is a part of a plant that traps sunlight and water which helps the plant grow. So a leaf traps sunlight and water to help plant to grow. Now, let's look at the types of leaves. There are two types of leaves, which are the simple leaf and the compound leaves. The simple leaves are leaves with just a single leaf blade, yes? A simple leaf have just what? A single leaf blade! <laughs> compound leaves. These are leaves with small leaf blades to make up a whole leaf. That's what a compound leaf is all about. Wow, can you see this beautiful picture of a leaf? This is an example of simple leaves. Simple leaves have just a single leaf blade. Can you see the simple leaf blade on these leaves? Wow, I love these leaves. <laughs> these leaves are so beautiful. And these are examples of a compound leaf. Compound leaves have lots of small leaves blades, making up a whole leaf. Do you love compound leaf? Wow! I love compound leaf. I love compound leaf. And I know you love compound leaf too. Now, let's look at the importance of leaves. What's this? This is a goat. What's this goat doing to these leaves? The goat is eating the leaves. Hmm. So some farm animals feed on leaves. So this is the first importance of what? Leaves. Animals feed on leaves. They eat leaves. They like to eat what? Lots of what? Leaf. Have you ever tasted any leaves before? Start thinking about it. And you tell me the leaf that you have eaten before. Wow! Leaves are used for preserving foods. So leaves are used for preservation. Food items can be wrapped in leaves to prevent them from getting spoiled. Take for instance, this is a water leaf. Wow, so beautiful. You can use it to preserve other food items so that they won't get spoiled. And I know you like to eat water leaves too. And also punky leaf too. Have you tasted it before? What about bitter leaf? Though it's bitter, you like to take bitter leaf. Leaves trap sunlight and water, which is very important for every plant. Can you see? The leaf trapping sunlight. Sunlight is very important for plants and also animals. And you can see in this picture that the leaf is trapping what? Sunlight and water. Which air plants to what? Grow! Do you know we eat leaves? They form a class of food called vegetables. Can you see the picture of different vegetables? The carrot, the concumber, lettuce, spinach, pepper, onion, tomato, potato, pea. All these are all examples of what? Vegetables. And I know you like to eat them too. Do you like to eat a cabbage? I love cabbage too. Let's look at part of a plant. Do you know that in a part of a plant, you can find a leaf. Let's look at the part of the, these plants. Flower, leaf, fruits, roots, and stem. All these are part of a plant. And you know a leaf is also a part of a plant. I want you to learn this word. Say photosynthesis. 
Yes, photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants make their own food using carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water. You know we don't breathe in carbon dioxide. It's not important to us. We only breathe out what? Carbon dioxide. But plants need carbon dioxide so that they can grow well. So this is photosynthesis. Don't forget what I said. It is the process whereby plants manufacture their own food using carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water. This is a picture of how plants manufacture their food with the presence of what? Sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Wow, what a beautiful picture. And you can use it in the leaf of this plant. What color is it? Yes, it's green. Wow, I hope you enjoyed today's class. I enjoyed myself so much. See you in our next class. I remain your humble and lovely teacher, Miss Irene Omoyemese. Bye for now.